Promo alert. Promo alert. Promo alert. Today is, is your boy Hothead Relentless. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. Hit that link in his bio. You can find all his music on all platforms. But while you at it, check out his YouTube channel and check out his new video. I know it's out right now. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to his channel and comment and let him know I sent you. Hothead Relentless. A lot of niggas ain't real and that's what I know. Ooh. A lot of niggas gon' squeal and that's what I know. Ooh. Hey, you ain't never seen blood. You just a mean mug. Never been a street thug. And that's on me, thug. You ain't really none. And that's what I know. Ooh. What up, gang? I'm fight with another video. I say I'm fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Photos have been leaked of Cardi B and Offset getting prepared to attend takeoff funeral. This is a sad moment for hip hop. It's a horrible day for the culture. Watching those pictures really made me realize that one third of the Migos is gone. Take off. Funeral plans have been announced for the Migos rapper Take Off, who was shot and killed out of downtown Bowling Alley last week. The funeral for the 28 year old rapper will be Friday, November 11th in Atlanta at State Farm Arena at 12 p.m. Central Time, which is today. According to the arena website, all tickets was free for Georgia residents. Takeoff was the youngest member of the Migos, the rap trio from suburban Atlanta that was also featured as uncle Quavo and his cousin Offset. At this time, no arrests have been involved in the case, but there have been a lot of speculations about who did it and who didn't. Like I said, this one shocked the culture. It, it was announced that Alicia Keys, Justin Bieber will be performing and honoring takeoff during the rap memorial at the State Farm Arena. Representatives for the event did not confirm any performance details when contacted by the Times on Wednesday. The two singles are the latest music industry names to set to attend Friday ceremony. They joined Drake, who announced Monday that he would pay his respects to our dear friend this weekend. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people was questioning, is Drake going to come? Because as we know, he connected the mob times. As we know, it went viral that he unfollowed Quavo after the death of Takeoff. Him and the whole mob time family unfollowed Quavo. Once WAC 100 let it be known that they did so, they followed him back. 
for whatever reason, I don't know. There was a lot of speculation. Everybody wondering, is the Prince family gonna show up? And I addressed this situation in my last video. I'm gonna put it right here on the screen. But a Mob Tie member did go on the YouTube live and said they will be there. And he say they with whatever Atlanta with. My personal opinion, I feel like they only showing up to show that they'll come because a lot of people saying they ain't coming. I don't think it's genuine. I don't think they really there to pay their respect. I don't even think J Prince Jr. should come. After the rail watched him walk past takeoff while he lay there dead on the ground. You didn't pay your respects then. Why would you come and pay your respects now? Jazz Prince. I could see him coming. Him and Quavo had a real relationship. But Jazz Prince stated he left the venue that night before it went down. How true that is, we don't know. But I know that will put a strain on him and Quavo relationship, depending on what really went down that night. Jay Prince, the father, I think he will really make it his business to come because of that speech and that letter he put out saying that Mob Ties and Amigos was family and nothing gonna change that. And I tell you the truth, I wasn't buying it. But he probably was sincere. Y'all get in them comments and tell me what you think. But like I said, Offset, Cardi B is on their way to attend Take Off Film. As I looked at them pictures, all I seen was pain. I know Cardi B feel away. Cause a lot of people blamed her for the split. I know Offset fell away because a lot of people blame him for the split. People saying that, or well, allegedly that he slept with Sweetie, which is Quavo girl. They asked Quavo, will Migos ever get back together? Quavo said he don't think so, loyalty. Cardi B, they brought her in the mix, saying that she convinced Offset or probably opened up his eyes that he should go solo and make more money. If y'all don't know, the Migos sales was declining. And y'all know it's three of them. 100% broken down, four to five ways. And they wasn't selling like they used to. And checks was getting cut short. And I just think Offset felt like he'll do better on his own. Now, a lot of people don't know they already have solo deals. But I think the labels were still getting a cut and a piece of their deals. For whatever reason, Offset 
wanting to cut his ties with the Migos and found himself having a lawful dispute between him and QCP. Do I think the Migos will get back together? Offset, Quavo, Will they do it for the culture? Will they do it for their family? Or will they do it for takeoff? Through it all, they still a family. And it's something that they gonna have to live with every day. But if they doing it for takeoff, I think it'll be a Migo, Quavo, Offset album on the way. Offset did confirm too. He pushed his album back because of this situation. I'm pretty sure he hurt. But I'm waiting to see the Migos get back together. Offset, Quavo. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. If you want to donate to the channel, give me a tip. Hit that cash out. Music 101. You tip the waitress when you go eat, don't you? Don't you? God damn it. You tip the motherfucker that wash your car, don't you? All right. Hey, you ain't got to, but I'm just saying. If you want to, hit that cash out. Music 101. Thank you in advance. I'm about to talk to some bitches in here and don't fuck it up for me. It's my day. Promo alert. Listen, if you guys want promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. Music101ceo. I'm doing $20 promo. For $20, you will get one video promoted on my YouTube channel. For $40, I will promote three videos for you in my YouTube channel. $60, I'll promote six videos for you in my YouTube channel. And $120, I'll promote 12 videos for you on my YouTube channel. You need YouTube promo? You trying to get your business up? You trying to run your numbers up? Hit me up at Music 101 CEO. Hey, you don't want to miss it. The results is great.